Mauka. Mauka. Diodz. Diodz. Dejeljec. Jaws. 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 Mauka. Okay, I have three very important Flashaholic service announcements. Uh, number one, if you have ever been at all interested in measuring the output of your own flashlights, do-it-yourself stuff, today is your lucky day. Right now, I found out just a few days ago that BLF member Malka is offering calibrated flashlights, like as in he has real equipment. Not something he made from parts out of a dumpster or a hardware store, but an actual integrating sphere, a calibrated one. And he's offering a set of calibration lights for what I think is a pretty good price, a really good price, to anybody who wants them. Uh, the kit will include two lights, one that is calibrated uh, for, or that was measured for uh, cool white and one that's neutral white. And the reason for that is because uh, most of us are using pretty cheap light meters and so there's kind of a difference. Like cool whites tend to measure a little higher uh, than register a little better than what the neutral whites do. Um, and I'm telling you, this is a big deal because up until now, Try as we might, you know, we've all been getting together and trying to calibrate as closely as possible, uh, you know, uh, calibrating off really regulated lights and groups of lights that we trust from manufacturers and things like that. But this is a monumental move toward uh, being accurate and everybody getting on the same page. And when I say he's offering for a good price, you can go and look, but I think it was uh, like around 75 US dollars, something like that. It's in euros. I checked into having lights like this done, like here in the US, I, I checked on a company. Uh, I asked if they would measure a light for us so that we could do that. They wanted 350 bucks to do a light. And with this, and that was me sending them the light. With this, you're getting two awesome flashlights. So I think that if you've ever had any interest in doing this right now, you should get those. And I'll put a link in the description. And I'm telling you, if you've ever been in the position where you were like, oh man, why didn't I get that? Like some awesome light was available and you missed out. I'm telling you, this is going to be that. Okay, so don't miss this. <laughs> Okay, Flashaholic service announcement number two is uh, still kind of related to that, but if you want to uh, measure lights, and but you don't want to build your own system, like you don't want to make your own lumen tube or your own sphere, Texas Ace is offering calibrated lumen tubes for sale in a couple of different sizes. So you don't, you don't have to do anything. All you would have to do is buy that, and put your light into the end of the lumen tube and turn on the meter and measure it. And the cool thing is, is he's using a set of uh, diffusers to make it to where the number on your meter is the lumen number. So there's no math, you don't have a multiplier or anything. What you read on the meter is your lumen output. And best of all, he already has a set of Malka lights, which he's calibrating these off of, if I understand correctly. So, even better. Now, if you do still just want to build your own system because you want to save money or because you want to build it, I totally understand. I'll put links in the description for uh, some help on that, too, on how to build your sphere. And uh, BLF member... Did, did Jaws... Jaws... Did Jaws... Did Jaws... <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put links in also uh, to some of his threads because he, I think he is one of the more knowledgeable people on the forum about, uh, you know, 
building these type of systems and he's done some really great comparisons on like what the best light meter is. He has like a $1,400 meter that he's comparing our $20 meters to so you can get an idea of how that works. Really great information in that thread. Okay, announcement number three. There is a group buy going on for an XHP 70.2 version of the BLF GT. As of this moment, they're not available yet. It's a group buy. We all have to do just like we did in the first one, but this is where you're going to get the best price. Like, remember when I said the group buy for the first one and the lights were like 150 bucks, and then they went up like... 200 bucks when they came available. Well, <laughs> this is your shot. It's going to be, they're offering not only, not just completely made GTs with the XHP70 and the good MOSFET driver. Um, they're also offering kits. So if you just want to buy the large MCPCB with the emitter and the driver and swap it out yourself. You can also get that. I've already been put on the list for a couple of kits myself. Something you will notice about um, the numbers, the ratings on this, I'll just tell you ahead of time, uh, they're rating the light at 7,500 lumens to where in my video I said, you know, 8,000 and some of the measurements I got were even higher than that. And I'll just tell you the reason right now. Uh, number one is, um, that Texas Ace already has a set of Malchus calibration lights, so I would go with his numbers on this. Number two is they're, you know, they're playing it kind of conservative, which I think is smart because, you know, if a person buys, uh, you know, a 7500 lumen light and they get one that registers higher, they're happy. But if you, you know, order an 8000 lumen light and it's not that, then you're not happy. So I think they're smart in doing that. Now they are still trying to source some of the parts. They're looking for a cool light emitter. So on the list, you'll have a choice between cool and neutral. Um, my personal advice is to go with the cool unless you understand perfectly what the neutral is. If if you get the fact that, like, remember back when uh, I showed the prototype of the first GT, the XHP35 high intensity one, and it had that nice lasery beam, and then the neutral white version arrived, and everybody's like, hey, how come that one looks so weak? Well, that's how come that one looked so weak. Um, they, the, you know, they're offering neutral because really, it performs better. You know, the, the, the light is going to travel further because none of your photons are being trapped in the atmosphere. But, you know, my opinion about it is I, I took the cool white. If, if they can source the emitters, I voted for that because to me, uh, performance is more more than just about the numbers you get from, you know, calculations and things. As far as the performance, the distance on this, right now they're offering dome on LEDs. Um, we, they are working on possibly having it factory de-domed. But so far we don't have an answer to that. But even, seriously, even if they don't... Uh, decide that you can get it de-domed from the factory. It's really not hard. All you got to do is take a razor blade and slice the dome off the top. It, it's really simple. And even if you don't do a great job, as long as you don't cut too close and cut your bond wires, it'll be fine. You know, doing a, doing a really good job is going to help. But I mean, just even, you know, getting a reasonably decent slice on there, you're going to see a boost in the, the range. Yes, no, D is pronounced in the Dutch J. Yas would perhaps be the most correct. Yas. Yas. Tasty. Tasty. Mauka. No, it does not mean tasty. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and good lucks.